pleased with how this has come out. I uh, really like the effect. Uh, love all the variety in there and the depth. I'm a little bit annoyed with myself that I, that I didn't get it all the way right round to the edges. I think that looks a little bit um, incomplete. Mm -hmm. Says the person who rarely finishes anything off anyway. Um, but that's worked really nicely. I think if that were to be lacquered and uh, and then polished up, it was it's going to be really, really quite stunning. Um, it's 11.38 on Sunday and I finished this off yesterday afternoon about four o'clock-ish. It's still a tiny bit tacky in places so I can't put any lacquering on at the moment anyway. Right, I am going to take this one to a finish even though the back isn't finished. Um, and what I've found in the experiments I've done with the other pieces that have been put on this and turned off is if I put lacquer on it will help fill some of the lower areas, then sand it back uh, until I've taken off just the high spot so I'm not ruining the colour, and then build up some more lacquer. I probably need to do that three times. Uh, and the best way of taking the lacquer back, I found, is actually wet sanding it. Um, so that gives me a bit more control, helps to lubricate it, and if it's dry and I'm spinning my pad too fast then it can be a bit of a problem and take off more than I want. Don't forget when you're spraying respirator. I'm sanding it 600 grit just to remove some of the high spots. It will take some of the lacquer off, but I'm going to re-lacquer. So here it is, my sea foam platter to go with the um, 
vase. Same-ish technique, same colours. Easier to get a shine on this one with a flat surface. The vase is actually outside in the garden having had its third coat of lacquer. More to come. Um, stills of this of course. I'm very very pleased with the blend of colours in here. You may have heard me mention one of my favourite illustrators, um, a man called Brian Highsmith. Done some wonderful, wonderful illustrated children's books. I guess 70s? Maybe 60s. And I just love the washes of colours that he uses. This is in no way <laughs> up to that standard, but it is reminiscent of it to me and that's quite pleasing. Uh, probably in terms of shape, the rim is a little flat. I do like it slanting in a little bit more, but this is my working blank. This is trying out ideas and I'm very happy with that, apart from a few little blemishes. The fact that the colour didn't go all the way to the edge in some places, I think, detracts from it. Um, I think I might actually have liked to have had some black in it as well for a stronger contrast in places. Um, and uh, maybe the lacquer could have a glassier finish. You can see there it's not the smoothest of, uh, of finishes because of the paint being, being raised still in places. So if I were to sort of make a commercial version of this, one that I might think of selling, I certainly would do more work on that lacquer, cutting it back a bit each time, building it up until I've got a smooth finish. I must one day get into... No, I mustn't. I mustn't get into resin. Please, spare me from resin. Until next time, thanks for watching. For a hell of a musket will be stops your heart, the must be revisited. If you're not kiss, and you know, asthma. I'm going to try to get a better finish. Am I becoming a perfectionist? <laughs> Shouldn't think so.
much shinier. I think that was worth it. Even though you know what happens next. Blinded by the light. Bye-bye.